Good evening and welcome to SVG TV News for Thursday, December 2nd, 2021. I am Rochelle Batiste with the details. Infectious disease specialist and member of the SVG COVID-19 task force, Dr. Gerald Thompson, is encouraging persons here who are living with HIV AIDS to take the COVID-19 jab, noting that these persons are classified among the highest groups to be severely affected by COVID-19 and its variants. Uh, Dr. Thompson was speaking on a program on VC3 last evening on the occasion of World AIDS Day, observed under the theme In Inequalities and AIDS. And the worst thing today is catching COVID if you are HIV untreated patient. If you are HIV and you are treated, then I want to say that you receive receiving medications then your white blood cells, your T cells have bounced back up and those T cells will help to provide some protection against the COVID itself. But they're also protecting some protection too against the HIV. And um, HIV persons today are living normal lives, working in normal jobs, and they are taking their medications and doing well. Reiterating his appeal for all Vincentians eligible to do so to get vaccinated, Dr. Thompson said he also highly recommends that persons who already took two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine to get a booster shot as it will further build up your defense against the viral illness. I would say the primary interest has always been the unvaccinated individual who want them to vaccinate. But at the same time, the person who's already vaccinated, because they have been well protected for six months, we don't want them for the next six months for their antibody levels to drop. So we do encourage them to take the vaccine and a third dose and get pumped up. And you can mix and match. If you had the AstraZeneca before, you can get a Pfizer. And if you had the Sputnik before, you can also still get the Pfizer and so forth. I think currently there may be um, not a lot of AstraZeneca around. I don't think they have, they have any. But uh, the, the, the point that's being made is that um, it doesn't matter what you get really as the booster. Get the booster so that your antibodies levels can be pumped back up to the hundreds of millions of antibodies so you're fully protected and that your levels have not shot. The COVID-19 vaccine AstraZeneca is now back in stock on island. This was announced in a news release issued by the Ministry of Health, Wellness and the Environment, encouraging persons awaiting their second dose, first dose or a booster shot to visit the various vaccination sites across the island. The ministry said while it welcomes walk-ins, interested persons are asked to call ahead to avoid wastage. The various vaccination sites are the Stubbs Polyclinic, Levi Latham Health Complex, Georgetown Health Center, the Bookerment Polyclinic, the Planned Parenthood Association, Beckway, Canawan, and Union Island Health Centers. The ministry said, in view of the confirmed presence of the Delta, Mu, and Gamma variants in the community, strict enforcement and compliance with all protocols by everyone is strongly recommended, noting that the correct and consistent use of masks, avoidance of crowds, physical distancing, proper hand sanitization, and immunization with available vaccines have all been proven to significantly reduce the risk of being infected, getting sick and or dying from the COVID-19 virus. Reminding persons of the different sexually transmitted diseases and SVG, AIDS coordinator for public sector entities with the National AIDS Secretariat, Winfield Tanis Abbott, is encouraging young people, particularly those who are unable to abstain from sexual intercourse, to protect yourself from AIDS and other STDs by using a condom, which he said is effective once used properly. Tanis Abbott was speaking to SVG TV News during an activity held in Kingston yesterday in observance of World AIDS Day. If you have more than one sexual partner, wear a condom. Not only wearing a condom, but knowing and understanding how to use that condom. Because I've seen that a lot of pigmen don't even know the right way to use a condom. 
And not only that, make sure the condom you're using is a good condom. And I always advise women, walk with your own condom. Put the condom on. When you put it on, you know you're not putting on a condom that has a punch, that has a hole, that is not breaking, but a good condom. Women must protect themselves, secure themselves. And we must remember that our health is our responsibility. No one can protect us. We have to protect ourselves in order to protect others. Coordinator of the National Family Program Unit in the Ministry of Health, Alita Scott, who used the opportunity to demonstrate the correct use of a condom, also urged persons engage in sexual activities not to forget about some of the risk factors of having unprotected sex and doing so with multiple partners. Right, well, right now we are going through the COVID pandemic and I think what is happening is that a lot of persons are focusing on COVID and forgetting the other aspect of their health, right? But we want persons to know, in spite of the COVID pandemic, that they can also take care of their health in, in relation to their sexuality. Um, you're going to have sex, your sexual behavior, you're going to have sex, you use a condom. Especially if you do not know your partner's status, you use a condom. That's the only way that you could prevent yourself from having from getting HIV and other sexually transmitted infection. Also, right now we are in the Christmas season and I know nine morning coming up. I know a lot of persons are gonna be involved in activities, right, whether at home or, or in their community. So we would advise them, while you take care of your COVID restriction that are in place, like your, like your sanitizing, wearing a mask and facial, social distancing, sorry, we would also like you to, if you're going to have sex, use a condom. The Forestry Services Division is investigating the importation of squalls on Bekwe, deeming their introduction on the Grenadine Island as an irresponsible and illegal act. In a Facebook post today, the Forestry Services Division said a contingency of officers journeyed to Bekwe to investigate the reported sighting of squalls on the island and that the team was able to confirm the presence of the animals and proceeded to call them. The division Cell. The officers, however, were only able to call one. The other was apparently injured. The division said animals were brought. The animals were brought to the island without an importation permit, veterinary and or health certificates. It noted that the introduction of exotic animals into a new environment is dangerous as these animals can bring diseases, become pests, and upset the natural balances, especially on island ecosystems. A significant percentage of the forest hair has been lost due to the impact of the recent eruptions of Lassofre volcano. And Minister of Agriculture, Supporter Caesar, said the ministry will be embarking on several reforestation initiatives. Minister Caesar said several countries and organizations will also assist in the replanting of trees in the forest in the forest that were impacted. There is a program approved by the cabinet whereby we are going to seek a relationship with the private sector and also with friendly governments around the world to see how we can use the carbon credits initiatives which are available to us to replant our forest. Speaking on the local medicinal industry, Minister Caesar said that there have been a significant interest in the area and expressed gratitude to all who have been working to ensure the industry succeed despite the challenges. And already you have companies from around the world coming to St. Vincent and the Grenadines and I want to recognize the work of Professor Leonard Ogaro who will be leading that particular path, working along with Mr. Ledger at the Bureau of Standards, because when you're doing the research, the research has to be done at a particular standard to be validated. Working with the government of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to ensure that we have a shining, modern, medicinal, wellness industry, focusing 
on production, but also focusing on patient access. All in all, with all the plans that we have, we have to renew and redouble our efforts. Another donation of vegetable seeds at the cost of $300,000 will hand it over to the Ministry of Agriculture this week as part of efforts to rehabilitate the agriculture sector following the devastation caused by the eruptions of Lassafre Volcano. The latest donation of seeds came from Bayer AG. The Ministry also received similar donations from Argentina, Brazil and Chile through the technical coordination of the Inter-American Institute for Cooperation on Agriculture. Aika. Speaking at the official handing over ceremony of the seeds, Minister of Agriculture Sobota Caesar expressed gratitude to Bayer AG for the donation. I want to specifically thank the governments and people of Argentina, Brazil, and Chile, and the company Bayer for their donations. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, we are currently on a trajectory, on a path to unveil six very important pillars in my ministry for economic growth and advancement. One, we are working steadfastly to increase production and productivity in livestock development. And I want to thank you for your contributions that you made in such a timely manner and fashion so that our livestock farmers received significant benefits. The agriculture minister gave the assurance that the seeds will be put to good use and help to reduce the country's food, food import bill. Advancing the cause to reduce the food import bill of our country. Prior to the volcanic eruptions, we had a food import bill of approximately $200 million. And with the devastation to our crop sector, and particularly to vegetables, we definitely would see an increase over the next few months in our monthly food imports. But with your assistance and with your gratitude, we can expect by the middle of 2022 to see a reduction back to the days of normalcy and even to further reduce our food import bill as we close 2022 going into 2023. In the aftermath of the eruptions of La Soufre, I want to especially note that it is here because of the hard work of the leadership at the Farmers Support Company, Rishata Nichols and Charlene Garrick. They were in contact with several persons who reached out to them in the diaspora and they were able to mobilize these goods which will be passed on to farmers and fishers throughout the country, persons who were affected by the eruptions of La Soufre. Representatives of the Farmer Support Company also expressed gratitude for the support. As the Farmer Support Company celebrates its 8th anniversary, 22nd of November, it is in keeping with that that we are happy to have these at this time and also given that Christmas season is around the corner. We're not only lending support, as the minister would have suggested, to the farmers and fisher folks and also other folks affected by the volcano, but we're bringing Christmas chairs and Christmas goodies. Send sincerest gratitude to all the donors and support that we have received. Indeed, it is a memorable one. It's something that we will always remember. At this time in St. Vincent the Grenadines, we are, in fact, trying to rebound from the COVID-19 epidemic and also the Lassafre volcanic explosion that both hit us.